Uh, I'd highly recommend the 1961 monster movie Gorgo. It's sort of a British take on the Godzilla thing. When we reviewed it for my number one best-selling movie and video guide, it put two of my assistant editors into intensive care. The Vice President's unimaginative campaign slogan. Good masonry work on the titles. Yeah, it was done by the guys at Mark 7 Productions. Yeah. Oh, Gorgo boy, the gore, the gore is going down with the old folks at home. He's Paul Robeson. Lovely. Frank King, Maurice King. Administration. <laughs> Did Frank sneak in afterwards and put that little dig under Maurice's name? Poop Deck Pappy, the real story. I should moisturize. Sam. <laughs> Looking terribly ugly. Well, thanks a lot. The men, the men are getting edgy. I think the pool guy overchlorinated the ocean here. Oof. This new cool ranch flavored scuba air isn't very good. It's it's Robert Maxwell. He's alive. Uh, you know, when this boat was launched, it was promoted as pretty damn sinkable. I'm drowning and I'm wet. Gary, I'm steering. Let go. Oh, they're fine. Okay. <laughs> they got into port and everyone was okay. They went out for lunch and felt better. <laughs> well, there's water in the basement. The carpet's all ruined. We're out of fresh water. We'll have to drink concentrate then. Some kind of coelacanth death cult or something? I don't know. Lice for sale, chiggers and lice. You sound like welcome in any language. So how do you get your shirt so white, Seamus? <laughs> Me mum's at work, so I'm having a garage sale with her stuff. Ooh. Hey, look over there. It's an ancient Celtic waffle iron. Cool. Um, kid, how does this huge room fit into this tiny little hut? Well, what do you know? Not, Not much. much. You? Maybe we'll swing a little more weight around here if we find out. But let's get some boiled cabbage first. Slag her off, Harry. I beg your pardon? You know, I'm a good kind to you in a blessed Saturday. You hmm. hear me, Catherine, and Bart? The gloomy and the capon is a disaster. He's got two time-release caplets on his back. Hmm. Well, now he's only got one. Hey. Overcome by an excess of potatoes, Guinness, and guilt. You ask me, he died of fright. Couldn't be the boiled back that he ate every day of his life. <laughs> a boat made of foot-long hot dogs. <laughs> Thunderbore. Voyage to the bottom of the yawn. The abysmal. Counting plankton is really hard. But whatever it was, I never want to see it again. Oh, like you're this big prize. Harry. Uh, here's the script. You take my part in the movie for a while. May your corned beef not pickle correctly. The sooner the better. The tighter the sweater. The boys depend on us. Yay! There's like one cod left in the North Atlantic, but damn it, they're gonna get it. <laughs> pat a cake. Pat a cake. To reach. <laughs> Look at this. The poor Irish, you know, if they're not invaded by Cromwell or infested with leprechauns, they got this guy. Quick, let's emigrate. McRoar. Oh, growl. <laughs> Dave Foley. <laughs> what a very good juggling act. <laughs> Open the pub. Come on, it's 9 a.m. I said we're all out of lucky charms. <laughs> I think they're mumbling a very good point there. Supposing we got rid of that thing for you. The beast? That's right, Ian Paisley. Sorry about how this looks. The walls need to be redunged. Mr. Ryan! How's your hope? Mr. And your daughter. What is it, kid? We might be able to catch him in the nets. Who, the kid? Yeah. Bought it from the government. It's called Fat Man or something. If that doesn't work, we'll try something else. Okay, Harry, come on, okay? Try something else. Brilliant! <laughs> There's a skeleton of a little French guy in here. Immediately cross lines with the guy trying to catch Godzilla. <laughs> he has Civil War submarine technology. Ooh, if they don't let me up to go soon, it will be a yellow submarine. What your laundry sees. So did Gorgo cooperate and just wrap himself in the net? How did this happen? <laughs> on the wing. Light on the starch. Easy on the mayonnaise. <laughs> and in Ireland, send real food. Well, they set up the phone so he can talk to his family. Hi, honey. Got captured again. Yeah. Set a course for London, Sam. I got a hankering for organ meat. Uh, kid, could you salt yourself and come over here? I can't let you go back to the sea. Uh, maybe lay in some marinade. <laughs> Go play on Gamera's back, kid. I'm not into it. Harry, put a guard on that thing 24 hours and give him a rifle. Right now. Don't give the monster a rifle. I could be watching him play. Run like the devil. Pick up my tail and clatter across the deck on my cloven hooves? 
<laughs> Someone didn't rinse out the sink after he shaved. Gorgo seduced the guard and then tried to kill him. <laughs> Shit, I told you to stay below. Okay, I'll go up and stay below then. Londoners <laughs> are notoriously skeptical. And a good many we've spoken to... Yeah, yeah it's only quite skeptical. skeptical yeah. 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 Sort of circus stunt. Much closer to this thing, and I could do with a bit of tranquilizer myself. <laughs> Actually, it's no joke. I need drugs. There are rumors. <laughs> and Hitler pulls up. Here we can see the intrepid Captain Ryan. <laughs> and our own Mr. Dorkin of Dorkin Circus in the checkered suit. In the chicken suit? And, by the way. <laughs> or... Plan through. <laughs> or... Tranquilizer seems to be working. I'm very mellow. So far. They're trying to exhume William Howard Taft. <laughs> I crush you. You get crushed. This is like England's 178th finest hour. The Japanese that lies dormant in all of us comes to the surface in situations like these. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I didn't know elephants exploded on impact. Wow. Embarrass him! Ask him about the size of his brain! Insulation on a stick! Mr. Bojangles! Hi there, cutie! <laughs> hey, John Quincy Adams! <laughs> Mmm, brain matter. <laughs> Great, Gorgo ate another elephant. But he's got a wife and two kids. Okay, well, we'll send her some money. But he's dead. Okay, we'll send her another husband. And there's gonna be a lot more tough breaks before this is over. I've been listening to myself. Well, that'll be me again. In fact, we believe it is in rather early infancy. You'll need to change him. An approximate guess. According to my unnecessarily large book, the infant. The outfant. The adult. Ooh, he's got Betty Davis high. One. <laughs> Leave me alone. Get away from me. Look at this. Dorman just roamed the streets of London looking for people to serve. <laughs> I will not fake distress calls. I will not fake distress calls. A giant sea camel. <laughs> cap sized. I've got to have my cap sized. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, I do live in a trailer. Better listen to some Bob Seger and watch NASCAR. Fem punch. Hmm. hmm, I like punching you. Fail, Britannia, you never ruled the waves. <laughs> oh, they're firing geese at him. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Is Roger looking at me? Look at those two, it's disgusting. The English reject beer that's too cold. Lieutenant Modest Crotch on the right here. <laughs> How do you sex one of these things? Well, you put the lights down low, you put on a little Barry White. That's not and what I mean. <laughs> These things are great. They're built like Volvos. <laughs> ah, the Queen Mum is brought out to fight the beast. Hello. And yeah, this is the same thing they do when Oliver Reed's in town. <laughs> it's advancing up river directly towards us. Stay here and get killed? Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Maybe Mary Poppins flies in and kicks his ass. That I'd pay to see. Hmm? No, he has the power to superimpose rocks. Hey, it's Large Bob. <laughs> it's Big Ben. Oh, sure, Mike. Well, the good news is he may crush Sting. Oh. It's, a, it's a London landmark, Banco Espanol. <laughs> Oof, I hope that's not a mating call. <laughs> we need to find Elton John so he can write a song about this. Goodbye, England. You've been crushed by giant lizards. <laughs> <laughs> I won't marry you. Yes, you will. This guy panicked, but he stopped to pat. <laughs> People are running through the streets saying, This simply isn't done. You'll be hearing from my solicitor. <laughs> Pacifist or not, Gandhi's got to be chuckling about now. I'm not wearing any pants. No pants, baby. <laughs> Mike, can one repent if one hasn't yet pented? Ah, they got the new Pudding Master 5000. <sighs> Hell, you work this thing. Director had a foot fetish. Bob, you're embarrassing me. Damn, Bob, you're big. <laughs> Towering apparition from before the dawn of history. Why didn't she eat the announcer? <laughs> so, Bob, how's Dad? I ate him. Oh. Come on, son. It's a treat. Let's go crush France. Hooray! And now the rest of the story is the Cray brothers looting London. This is how my giant ends. <laughs> I don't understand it. In many cases, Gorgo has been known to induce hallucinations and mild drooling at the very least. Well, you better start understanding. I want the worst movie ever made, and I want it now. <laughs>